Hi, I'm Dominic Judici, environmental scientist with Cal Fish and Wildlife, and we're here at Iron Gate Hatchery, where the hatchery staff are spawning Chinook salmon that they've trapped from the Klamath River. So down the line, they're collecting eggs and milk from the Chinook salmon, placing them in bowls, and moving them over where they will be raised at the hatchery. Uh, down on this end of the line, they're putting the spawn fish on this conveyor belt where it comes to our crew. We are collecting heads from adipose fin clip salmon. The adipose fin clip means that salmon was produced in a hatchery. We can remove the head and extract the tag in the snout of that fish, and it'll tell us what hatchery that fish was produced at and when it was released. We are additionally collecting scales from what we consider random fish. With the scales, you can determine the age of the fish. We, we collect scales, we send them off, you can look at them almost similar to a tree ring under a microscope and you'll see growth rings. You can count annual growth rings on there and determine the age of the fish. An additional process at Iron Gate Hatchery is to spawn coho salmon. Uh, coho salmon are a much more scarce animal and so our spawning procedures are a little more closely monitored. So when we, when we trap coho, we bring them in, we set them on the table, we measure them, we collect a fin clip from them, and we place them in a number two back alive, back into a round tank, in water where they're kept alive. While they're sitting in that round tank, we're taking all those tissue samples we've collected and we're mailing them off to a geneticist. A geneticist looks at all of these all of these fish fin clips and determines the genetic makeup of each fish. With that information, they can determine the proper spawning pairs based on the strongest genetic correlation between the fish. So as we receive information back, we're told which fish needs to be spawned with which other fish based on avoiding spawning-related fish and creating as much genetic diversity as possible. 